Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah and you're watching So Beauty Stuff. So I found this image on Pinterest of this girl and she was absolutely stunning and she had this makeup look on that was so not something I would normally wear. It was quite a, a, a full coverage, very glam kind of look. And I searched up and down to find her account on Instagram. Um, I don't know how I hadn't found it before because she's got a huge following. It's Makeup by Alina. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So definitely go check out her account. I'll leave the link down below. So for me, this is kind of like an extreme makeover. Luckily for me as well, this beautiful girl, Alina, she has done a picture with her eyes open and a picture with her eyes closed so I can really understand what she's done with the eye makeup to kind of recreate that same beautiful look. So first things first, let's prime. Her base seems quite matte. I'm not going to put on a brightening base which I normally would but I am going to put on um, my Hangover X primer because this is really going to um, hydrate my skin and um, if I'm putting on heavy amounts of foundation, oh it's cold, um, I'm going to need hydrated skin underneath so it doesn't cake up. With a really heavy eye makeup look, it's really good to start with the eyes. And also if you wanna get that real um, Instagram brow look, which I personally wouldn't wear on my everyday, it's a great way to go about it. So I'm actually gonna start with the brows. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my Anastasia um, Brow Pro palette. So I'm actually gonna scrape out a little bit of this brow primer, brush it through with a spoolie. I'm going to start with dark brown just to kind of carve out the shape. So there's my finished brow versus my not finished brow. So the next stage now is to carve them out with um, some concealer and then we'll also prime the eye area at the same time. So I'm going to be using a Tarte Shape Tape because it's really full coverage and use a brush. And now I'm just using the shape tape as an eye base. So I'm gonna set my lids with some RCMA powder. And I'm also gonna set my brows with my clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've got this Mellow Cosmetics tinted brow gel. It's just got a bit more color in it. I might just go over the top with that. Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> I've really clumped it there. Okay. Now to start on the eyes. I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam. I'm going in with orange soda. I want to get up as close to the brow as possible to really enlarge the eyes. Now I'm going to go in with burnt orange on top of orange soda. And now I'm going to go in with Cypress Umber. Okay, so now I'm gonna carve out my crease. I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape again. I've sort of left the corner a little bit just darker. It's got this gorgeous shade Fairy Dust, which is kind of a pinky silvery sort of color. Hers maybe looks a little bit more gold than that, but I might put the, some Oets oh, on with it. Um, now we're going to move on to the wing. I'm going to be using my Sigma Liquid Pen Eyeliner. I might bake and then do the under eye. So, and I want to go for a very full coverage foundation. So I've got my Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. I don't wear this very often because it's actually quite pale on me. The amount I'm dabbing in just this small area is probably what I'd normally use for my entire face. You can see it's quite pale on me. Now light foundation is not a bad thing for a look like this because we really want the centre of our face to look really, really light in comparison to the outside of the face. I am actually a little bit worried how my concealer is going to look on top of this. <gasps> oh no. This is not going to look good. Okay, that's not too bad actually with the concealer. So I want to bake my under eyes to make them really, really stand out. And I'm actually going to do the underneath of the eyes. So I'm going to go back in with the Soft Glam palette and just kind of mirror those colours that I used, but with a smaller brush. I'm going to use 
my Kat Von D. We use a slightly smaller brush just to get that real defined contour in first. I'm using kind of light sweeping motions so that while I'm getting that defined line, it isn't too harsh on the edges. So I'm using this as my sort of main contour and then this to warm it up and bronze it up. there just to kind of give the illusion of a bit more of an upturned nose. I'm gonna do some basic highlight with my hourglass just because this isn't the same sort of intense highlight that she's got in other parts of her face. She seems like she's got a very light wash of pink on her cheeks. I'm gonna use my MAC Margin Frost for my intense highlight, I'm going to use my Kristen Leanne Urban um, Decay palette. The lashes she have on are sort of quite similar to my Ruby Lash Bear lashes. Um, they are used before, so they're not stuck in. So I'm just going to chuck these on. These lashes are so big, they're really heavy. So while I'm waiting for them to dry, we're going to move on to lips, obviously. Aliana has these stunning dark lips. I mean, I could go completely black, but I think I might try and mix this purple and this gray. So I'm gonna line my lips first of all. So this is the Wet n Wild color icon in Plumberry. Um, she does have massive lips, so I'm gonna overdraw mine. Okay, so here's my massive overdrawn lips. So I've got this plummy and grey colour, I'm mixing it together, it might not be dark enough, I don't think it's quite dark enough. Okay, so I've just got my black MAC lip mix. <laughs> okay, so this is the finished look, um, it's so different to anything I'd normally wear, it's so much more dramatic. Um, heavy it took me about double the time it normally takes, normally takes me to do my makeup um partially because that i'm wearing more but also because it's not something i'm used to i'm used to my normal routine my my best efforts to recreate this um i will insert some side by sides i will try and recreate her pose um just so you can see see how you think i've done so um i love recreating looks like this so if you've got any ideas or suggestions please let them let me know in the comments um let me know how you think i did with this one thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video you can always give it a thumbs up um you can leave me a comment or you can even subscribe to my channel and you won't miss my future videos and why would you want to see you next time bye